Hello, my name is Jeannie Baker. I'm an artist and storyteller, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about my work. My medium is picture books, and I illustrate them in collage. My stories usually start from things that I feel passionate about. I recognize that feeling now, and I follow it. It's, I suppose it's intuitive. So I spend time in that place, and I try and understand as much about it as I can. I speak to people living there, if there are people living there. I'll speak to scientists so that I get correct information. Um, slowly, gradually, a storyline emerges. And making picture books gives me an excuse to go into those environments or find out about those things and get deep below the surface. Um, so I can't think of a more enjoyable job. <laughs> I like the idea that a small child can look at the story and then they might come back to it years later perhaps and see things in it that they didn't see when they first read it or didn't understand when they first read it. Um, and I like the idea that an adult even might find the book of interest. With my new picture book, Circle, the idea for the book started with my thinking it would be interesting to visually follow a migrating bird. So then I had to think about which Australian migrating birds I could ch potentially choose between. And there was one that stood out for me in particular, the bar-tailed godwit. It flies from Alaska right across the Pacific Ocean to Australia or New Zealand, so it flies from one side of the world to the other. It's actually the longest unbroken journey of any animal in the world. Just in the last five years, 65% of their habitat has been lost. So I wanted to try and get across in my story how hard it is for the birds and it, that it is getting harder and harder for them to find places where they can stop and rest. In my story, I have at the beginning and end of the book, I have a child. Um, and at the beginning of the book, you can see um, he's in a wheelchair. He's obviously got some kind of problem. He can't walk. But he's obviously passionately interested in birds. So in the final scene, I show this same boy. And now he's on crutches and someone has come onto the reserve with their dog and the dog isn't on a lead and the dog has frightened away the godwits or the birds and you see them taking off. But if you look carefully, you'll see still on the sand and still um, well, resting is the godwit I feature in my story, the godwit with white wing patches so he's recognizable. He's still there and the dog's coming right at him. And so this tiny boy, he's abandoned his crutches and he's trying to catch the dog. He's trying to grab it and stop it going for the bird. So by showing the child taking an active part in the story, um, I'm trying to show how we can make a difference. And the child is, you could kind of see him as a representative of potentially of all of us. 